I'm a software consultant with the Professional and Client Services Group of Walters Clure. In this short video, I will teach you how to filter file lists in Document. In Document Central, select a client in the navigation pane to display its file list. I'm going to start by customizing the columns that display on any client's file list that I choose. To access the column selection menu, place your cursor on top of any column that you currently have displayed. For example, my cursor is on top of the file name field. Then right click your mouse and choose add remove columns. The menu that appears allows you to choose your own columns and reorder how they display from left to right. The file properties listed on the right are currently displayed. Those on the left are all other columns you can choose that are not currently in use. Use the arrows in the center of the window to add or remove selected columns. I'm going to remove the size column and add the date created and year column using the arrows in the center of the page. I can now reorder them using the up and down arrows on the right side of the window. For example, I'm going to click year, move it up and group it with my class and subclass, and then I'm going to group my two date fields together. Click OK at the bottom of the screen to update and see your new file list view. Any column may be filtered individually or you can apply multiple filters simultaneously to really narrow down on a specific group of files. To apply any filter, click that column's funnel icon. For example, if I want to see my client's tax work papers for the year 2015, I'm going to select class, tax, then I'm going to pick the subclass work papers, and finally I'm going to filter for the year 2015. I can also go back and select 2014, then click the year column to sort, and now I'm viewing both current and prior year tax work papers. I can filter within a single column for more than one value. To remove a filter, I can go to any selected filter and manually uncheck that filter. To remove all filters at once, click the reset grid button at the top of the page and that clears all filters immediately. Keep in mind that you can also customize your recent files list and search results lists by following the exact same steps. You can make different selections in each tab in order to make filtering more efficient. These are per user selections any changes you make will not affect any other document users. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. For additional resources, click the link below to visit our webpage.